a lot a lot a lot going on today it's upside down but that's the uh front cabinet there'll be a nice light something either right there or maybe under that's the bottom really but it may be under there i just got to see what i have in stock or what i think is going to look nice because this is really this color i'm starting to love it and it's starting to throw me off though because i can't go to my usual go-to's now here's the over the kitchen cabinet right there it's looking good looking good you've seen me build about 500 okay that's a lot that that's an exaggeration you've seen me build a lot of those now i'm not painting the back shelf i amber shellacked it it needs something back there to break that up and so that's the job of that shelf right there how does this make you feel because it makes me feel warm and tingly that is clean that is just plain clean so that tells you that i've also made the kitchen cabinet but i'll show you that in a second i want you to kind of look in here yes the ac is in but but i didn't leave you behind this time i had a few people say hey you never show us how that you put those in on the upper cabinets well, here's what the openings look like. So there will be two sets of vents. There will be a vent right there, a vent and a half right there, really. And that's where our exhaust comes out. Let me, uh, let me get up in there. There we go. So you can see it's been boxed in. And then I sealed it with some Gorilla Tape just to keep that hot air heading out. So these will be vented really good right here. And then I made this for air in. It's a little bigger camper. I wanted to make sure we had all the air in we could get. And so this was a big cabinet, if you remember. So take a look. So right here, we built, uh, oh, great camera work. We built a uh, little air exchanger. I'm sure it has a name, but yeah, it's probably vent. And uh, so all of these vents right here are open. Both sides are open. We got plenty of room on both sides and it's got about an inch and a half two inches underneath can't really see that and then don't worry about that daylight that's going to get foamed in and then i'll trim it out so no air is coming in from there the only fresh air is going to be coming in right here and this will be vented over the skin so i hope that answers some questions that uh, a few people have asked about uh, putting these in here let me uh, run around the inside and show you the inside real quick. Linus, the shop inspector, is on duty, wants to know what our business is. We're here just to inspect and show our friends what's going on, Linus. Is that cool? Sure. All right. Appreciate you. You remember all this, all that. And we got all the paint on. We need to install our accordion door. I've been, I've been talking to you about the color of this. It was only $20 more than just a basic refrigerator that size. And I thought for $20 more, and those, there's good handles. I mean, I've got handles that, uh, you know, the vintage handles that go on there. It's a little different color, but it's vintage looking. The price was right. And I think it's a nice little contrast. I'm thinking that I will find some spray paint that color and I will do the knobs and the pulls on that and that'll that'll tie it in there's the ac like i said i'll be foaming that and trimming that out all the way around you'll never know that was there little uh gonna be a storage door down there here is the kitchen now here's one thing let me move some of these tools out of the way i wanted to ask you this is that too much that's the wheel well I just had that extra piece laying around and you only see it when you open up that door. Is that too much or do you like that? Do you like it or is it just too much? It's like, you know, are you wasting time? Or would it make you happy? You open that up and instead of seeing some old ugly black wheel well, you're like, hey, there's my floor. Would you leave me a comment and tell me? Because I think 
if there's a good reaction to it, I'm going to do it some more. Because I've got that stuff left over from time to time. Let me know what you think. I just put a little uh, divider right here. Just because that's a really big shelf. Because we're not putting, normally we would be stuffing an AC right there. But we're not. We're going to put the cabinet top on there. And then we're going to have two really nice sized cabinets right there. Real nice. And then don't forget about that. Tell me what you think. I appreciate it. So I'm going to put the upper cabinet in right here. And then really put the bed in and then start putting the ceiling on. But first I'm gonna put the front cabinet in here and probably the back cabinet in here before I do the bed. Look at this. I've been working all day. Curly? Curly? Oh, boy. Yeah. Looking good. I'm gonna install this on that. The only two kind of things to consider right at this point are making sure it's pretty well centered. That's easy enough to do. We can eyeball that. But then the well thing has to come off because this brace goes right into it and it'll push it out and it won't be snug. And that's not what we want. So I'm thinking that I'm going to want to be right about, that's real close right there. So I'm going to, ah, yeah. I'm just gonna make a quick mark with the pencil, set this off to the side, and I'll just cut that piece off real quick. I'm just gonna use a dull carpet knife. Makes sense, doesn't it? I have to save that. Maybe I'll find some place I need 37 inches worth of uh, cabinet welting. Really pretty big piece. Ah. Now, you take this guy, mark him up against that, and that one. And then I'm gonna get right even on Oh, dropped it right down. That's the hard part. Just put a little tack in right there to hold that. Well, I sure hope you can see it, something besides my back, but we'll see here in a minute. Looks like the answer was just about no. Video 400, I'll be really good at this. So I just want to check up here and I'm pretty even. Real even action, and that's where I want to be, right there. So, yeah, I just hit a couple more tacks right here, and then get a couple down here. Looking at my back again, good job. So, now when I go out there, I use an inch and a quarter uh, brad nail, there'll be a little bit sticking out, and that way I'll know where I can go ahead and put my screws in. So I'm gonna definitely gonna put probably about four or five screws across the top, across the bottom brace. You remember when we made that, that we had those braces in there to hold this. So I'm gonna run out there, do that, and uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do next. I've got this little table holder, little fancy thing. Been using them quite a bit here lately. And since I've been using them a lot lately, you've seen it a lot lately. I don't want to leave you behind. 
So I'm quite sure this whole operation is gonna be in double time. What happened, puberty? There it is. Table. I do have to, uh, you know, no shop inspectors were injured in the making of this video. I just wanna be clear about that. They're safe. They're good. Now I've just gotta make a Scotty leg for the front of this table. That'll take me about six minutes. Those are pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go make one of those and uh, then I'll run a board across the front that's gonna coincide with this so that I can install that here. And then this just pops right on there and that'll hold it as long as the foot's or the leg is there. That's all it is. Then you just pop it out and uh, turn it into a bed. So, I'm glad that was in double time. I was fumbling all over the place. It's been a long day. It's probably time to go in, I don't know. Okay, you have two things to do. One, let me know if you like the uh, vinyl on the wheel well. And what was the other one? I think I asked you another, oh, the color of the refrigerator. Another two things, that's your homework. Give me an opinion, please. And I'll be back in a few days with something interesting.